So you've already binged The Mandalorian, now what? If you're still wondering whether or not to stick by the House of Mouse, we've got you covered. Here's your comprehensive rundown of all the exciting original shows and movies being produced exclusively for Disney Plus in 2020. This is the big one. The Mandalorian and Baby Yoda stormed the internet when Disney Plus launched in November of 2019, and the show seemed to hit that sweet spot of mainstream success and obsessive fandom that made it a must-watch. A second season of the show was obvious. What's surprising is how quickly we'll be able to sit down and watch it. As soon as the first season finale debuted in December, showrunner Jon Favreau revealed that the second season of The Mandalorian is slated to arrive in fall 2020. The show debuted on November 12, 2019. So the follow-up arriving a year later seems like a pretty good bet. There were quite a few cliffhangers left over at the end of The Mandalorian's first season. We and the characters don't know much real information about Baby Yoda, and all signs point to the second season focusing on the search for the child's home. There's also the threat of Moff Gideon and his Darksaber to deal with. One of the two original MCU shows coming to Disney Plus in 2020, WandaVision looks to be a bit of a strange one. The series focuses on Wanda Maximoff, aka Scarlet Witch, and her late android lover Vision, who up until now was maybe the deadest character in the entire MCU. As for how he's back or what they'll be up to, that's anyone's guess. So far, the imagery we've seen from WandaVision evokes a particularly strange Leave It to Beaver vibe. Paul Bentney reportedly told an audience at the D23 Expo that the show would have old-school sitcom vibes with some serious darkness hidden just below the surface. Some familiar faces from the MCU will appear along the way, including Darcy Lewis, Jimmy Woo, and an all-grown-up Monica Rambeau, now played by Tiana Paris. We're intrigued to see what will bring them all together. Considering where the MCU appears to be headed with some of its post-Infinity Saga releases, it's been theorized that WandaVision will serve as a way to introduce supernatural and horror elements into the greater MCU. Guardians of the Galaxy did something similar with cosmic concepts on its original release, and Doctor Strange opened the door for mysticism to find its way into the franchise. It'll be interesting to see what types of risks Marvel and Disney take with Wanda's reality-bending powers post-Endgame. I don't even know who you are. You will. The second MCU show hitting Disney Plus this year is Falcon and the Winter Soldier. We've got a few details on this one, but the showrunners have generally played it pretty close to the chest. Anthony Mackie and Sebastian Stan will be reprising their title roles, and a lot of the other cast has been revealed as well. Daniel Bruhl is returning as Captain America Civil War's Helmet Zemo. Emily Van Camp will reprise her role as Sharon Carter. Wyatt Russell, meanwhile, joins the cast as John Walker, aka US Agent. Falcon and the Winter Soldier is slated to consist of six episodes that will release weekly rather than all at once, a strategy Disney Plus seems to be favoring for all of its original series. With director Kari Skoglin at the helm for every episode, the show looks to follow in the vein of the Captain America films, playing like a spy thriller. It will focus on Sam Wilson adapting to his role as the new Captain America, following the events of Avengers Endgame. Star Wars The Clone Wars, set during the time between Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith, originally debuted in 2008 as a feature film that served as a pilot for the animated series. The show then ran for five seasons on Cartoon Network before being cancelled, with 13 leftover episodes eventually hitting Netflix as a makeshift sixth season. But there are still scripts left unproduced and plot threads left dangling. Fans kept hope alive, and their campaigning was finally rewarded when a definitive seventh and final season was announced for Disney+. Plus. A trailer released in January 2020 teased the revival's thrilling return to the storylines fans have been waiting to see concluded for years. The romance of Anakin and Padme, the moral struggle of the clone soldiers, and a climactic showdown between Ahsoka Tano and Darth Maul. It's a miracle revival that fans have been waiting for. The wait finally ends on February 21st. The Muppets are coming to Disney Plus in 2020, but not in the format you might expect. Muppets Now will feature celebrity guests and is being touted as an unscripted series, but there aren't a ton of details available outside of that. The promise of celebrity guests suggests that the project could resemble the original Muppet Show variety series from the 1970s, but we'll have to wait for more details to learn more. The Muppets last had a show on ABC in 2015, following a pair of feature films in 2011 and 2014. These iterations were largely dedicated to playing on the nostalgia of adults who grew up with the characters. Time will tell if Muppets Now represents a fresh retooling for a streaming audience, but regardless, it will be a welcome return to the spotlight. Phineas and Ferb, a cartoon series that ran from 2007 through 2015, is the story of two brothers who are constantly inventing extraordinary ways to pass time during their summer vacation. Their sister Candace is always trying to get them in trouble, and their pet platypus moonlights as a James Bond-esque spy. 
constantly thwarting the villainous plans of Dr. Doofenshmirtz. Pretty standard stuff. The original creators are returning for a feature film called The Phineas and Ferb Movie, Candace Against the Universe. According to Disney's official announcement at D23 in 2019, the plot will feature the two brothers traveling across the galaxy to rescue their sister. The Phineas and Ferb movie, Candace Against the Universe, will reportedly release in the summer of 2020, though an official date has yet to be announced. While there have been some behind-the-scenes shakeups during production, as far as we know, we can still expect a full season of the Lizzie McGuire reboot in 2020. Hi, it's me. Hilary Duff is confirmed to return in the title role, with much of her supporting cast expected to be on board as well. The new Lizzie McGuire was set to kick off with Lizzie's 30th birthday in New York City, where she would be seen working as an interior design apprentice. However, Variety reports that show creator Terry Minsky parted ways with the reboot after only two episodes were filmed. According to a Disney spokesperson, After filming two episodes, we concluded that we need to move in a different creative direction and are putting a new lens on the show. The show was supposed to release this year, and possibly still will. We just don't have further details yet. Get some more Pixar in your life with Monsters at Work This series is a direct sequel to Monsters, Inc., picking up six months after the 2001 film. It will introduce a new character, Tyler Tuskman, who graduates as the top scarer in his college class. He comes to work at Monsters, Inc. on the day the company switches over from scares to laughter, leaving him unsure how to move forward. Much of the Monsters movie's all-star cast, including John Goodman and Billy Crystal, will reunite for the series, with Tyler being played by Ben Feldman, known for his work on Mad Men, Silicon Valley, and more. I just want to be a part of this place. I think it's on the way up." There's no official release date yet for Monsters at Work, but Disney has announced that we can expect it this year. You might remember these two cartoon chipmunks from the 1989-90 Rescue Rangers cartoon, but Chip and Dale have been around much longer than that. They originally appeared as troublemakers in classic Disney animated shorts starting in the 1940s, frequently antagonizing Donald Duck or Pluto. Disney Plus has plans for the chipmunk duo and is rebooting Chip and Dale in that classic cartoon philosophy. The new cartoon will be comprised of 39 short episodes of about 7 minutes each. It will feature mostly situational, non-verbal comedy, focusing on the life of the two characters surviving in the big city. There's no set release date yet, but we do know Chip and Dale is coming at some point in 2020. Until then, go watch the 1952 short Pluto's Christmas Tree on Disney Plus to see what these chipmunks are all about. <laughs> Remember Legends of the Hidden Temple and Guts? If you've got fond memories of those kid competition shows, you might want to keep your eyes peeled for Star Wars Jedi Temple Challenge. It's a live-action, skills-based game show set in the Star Wars universe. It's also set to be hosted by Ahmed Best, who portrayed Jar Jar Binks in the prequel trilogy. Jedi Temple Challenge will test contestant skills in three different settings – a forest planet, a star cruiser, and a Jedi Temple. According to Dan Silver, vice president of Disney Original Unscripted Content, Star Wars Jedi Temple Challenge brings together the best of Star Wars – competitive spirit, harrowing obstacles, and a hero's triumph over challenges – in a totally new format for the franchise. It's a bit of an odd one, but Star Wars Jedi Temple Challenge could be pretty fun. It's hard to tell until the release gets closer. And as of now, there is no concrete release date other than sometime in 2020. Based on Jerry Spinelli's novel of the same name about nonconformity and romance in high school, Stargirl is set to arrive on Disney Plus on March 13, 2020. It's the story of high schooler Leo, who's awestruck by a new student Susan Stargirl Carraway. Stargirl is unique, interesting, and refuses to conform to teen social norms, causing much of the school to turn against her. Leo, however, falls in love with her. At Stargirl Center is the acting debut of Grace Vanderwall, a 15-year-old singer-songwriter who won America's Got Talent in 2016. Vanderwall had massive charisma and stage presence during her run on America's Got Talent, so it'll be fun seeing her in an acting role. As an added bonus, she'll be displaying her singing and ukulele skills as well. The runaway popularity of cooking competition shows in recent years has been hard to miss, so it's no surprise that Disney Plus has one on the way in 2020. Be Our Chef will feature two families competing each week to create Disney-themed dishes that fit in the confines of that week's challenge, with the winning team's final dish being turned into a treat that will actually be served at Walt Disney World. We invite you to relax, let us pull up a chair, as the dining room proudly presents your dinner. Be Our Chef is hosted by Angela Kinsey, who is probably best known for playing Angela on the U.S. version of The Office. Kinsey now hosts a YouTube cooking show with her husband, Baking with Josh and Ange. Further details about Be Our Chef, including an exact premiere date, are yet to be announced, but we can expect the competition to arrive on Disney Plus at some point this year. 
No, this has nothing to do with Johnny Five. Instead, Short Circuit sounds like it could be a really fun way to discover new talent in the animation world. Short Circuit is a short film project that Disney began back in 2016, purportedly allowing anyone at Walt Disney Animation Studios the chance to pitch their own ideas for potential production with the full support of the studio. The project opens the door for potentially risky, unique, or offbeat stories that might not otherwise have been told. 14 different short films will debut in Short Circuit's premiere on Disney Plus at the end of January. Disney has showed off a few of these films at various expos and trade shows like Just a Thought, Exchange Student, and Jinghua. It looks like each film will vary wildly in tone and animation style, and it might be fun to see some undiscovered talent at Disney work their magic. If you saw Toy Story 4 and were confused about how Bo Peep wound up where she did, Lamp Life has got you covered. The story was originally conceived as a flashback that would appear in the film, but it was eventually cut for time and pacing issues. Instead, it's been reworked into the short film Lamp Life, premiering on Disney Plus at the end of January. Lamp Life will reveal how Bo Peep made the journey from Andy's family to Second Chance Antiques. It will feature a few familiar voices from the Toy Story films, including Annie Potts as Bo Peep, Emily Davis as Billy, Goat, and Gruff, and Allie Mackey as Giggle McDimples. Lamp Life is directed by Valerie LaPointe, who has directed a few other Pixar short films and was a writer on Toy Story 4. Choosing to release Lamp Life as its own short film instead of an extra alongside Toy Story 4 seems to indicate that it's been fleshed out quite a bit. Pixar fans will definitely want to check it out. Based on the Timmy Failure book series by Stephen Pastis, Timmy Failure Mistakes Were Made is a film about a young boy who runs a detective agency in Portland, Oregon. One day, Timmy's failure mobile, a segue his mother won in a contest, is stolen, and Timmy sets out to crack the case with his partner. By the way, Timmy's partner is an imaginary 1,500-pound polar bear. Judging from the trailer, Timmy Failure Mistakes Were Made looks like a fun cross between Encyclopedia Brown and Calvin and Hobbes. Considering the source material, the film could launch a whole family-friendly franchise if it's successful. We'll find out how it goes, and hopefully who took the segue when it hits Disney Plus on February 7, 2020. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies and TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.